Okay, hi. As I promised, I will do a quick demo on uh, how to use Java Web Token for authentication mechanism, how to include Postman in that, and how to do that via code. So I will just quickly go through all of these. Uh, and first, what you need for that is Postman app. And you can download Postman app from download Postman. This is www.postman.com download. And you just go here, download Windows, Windows 64 bit and <coughs> download the app. So you can either use that or online application that did not work when I was showing it, but well, uh, it's easier to, it's much easier and uh, to use the local one. Okay, when you install it, it will look something like this. I do have several workspaces and you will need your own. So let's create a workspace. So you click workspace and create workspace. So I will create like a bit ENG. And this will be my personal workspace. You, you do have the option to create team workspace or public workspace. But this is the personal and I'll create it. So I only I can reach this workspace. And inside the workspace you have you can have several collections of um, requests. And we will need a new collection, but we can either go with create collections here or just start uh, here with new request. I will click in new request. This is new HTTP request. And now I have the new request. So if I just go with like www.google.com and send, I will get response which I can just visual. Okay, I don't have the visualizer here, but I do have a. Uh, uh, okay, I can. Sorry, not visualizer. I clicked the wrong button. It's a preview. They can just preview what I received, but I did not receive other items, or uh, I, did, I did not receive the the um, referenced resources. I just received the uh, HTML. And they can visualize this resource or uh, HTML by clicking preview. So this is the code. And actually, in our project, and this is the project, I do have this login and register. So, well, first I need to register to use this login. And I will copy it, or I just can write button and like where is it copy i don't know okay never mind i'll just click it and by default you will get 405 http error because get does not work on this endpoint so i will copy this endpoint into local postman application and copy copy it here and if i send it now I will get also 405 response, as you can see, but I will switch it to post. So Postman is capable of sending post requests. Let's send it. And now I get completely different type of error. It says unsupported media type because I did not send the proper request. And server answered with that because server needs username and password to register the user. What do I have to do now to create username and password? So this is, this is actually response, not request. So to get, uh, to create a request, I need to go to the request body. So all of these are request uh, properties like authorization, headers, body, pre-request scripts of what happens previous, to the request or some tests and so on and so on. So in the body, 
we will set the body of the request and we go with raw and for the raw body we need to set to json so this is actually mime type of the request body and let's create here json for its user name and it should be like some dot email dot something like this at somewhere dot com and also password which would be of course a uh, high security password like one two three and let's try now with this payload so send so what did just happen? We received status code 200, which means we successfully created this user. Okay, so now we want to save this because this is usable request. So if I click Ctrl S, I will get save request here, or I can just go to, uh, sorry, 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 not here. Not here, so wrong. Ah, here, save. Yeah, I can just go save, and I can't save until I create a collection. A collection. So I will create a collection. Default. Enter the default collection and press save. <laughs> so now uh, my my request is saved. And one more thing, I can change the name. And instead this complex name, I'll just change to register. And here now I will have register. Okay, so body is here and I am registering this user. <laughs> and let's see how to create login. So if I click here, yeah, login does not work either. So I have to copy it <laughs> and create three. Right? And create a new uh, new request here. So I go with new HTTP request. <laughs> okay, paste this. Obviously, this is also post request. Uh, sorry, this one post request. And I switch to post. And obviously, I will now save it immediately. <laughs> Again to default. Uh, uh, collection. Okay, save. And also rename it to login. Okay, so if I send this, I will get again unsupported media type because the body is not JSON. I will switch to body, raw, JSON, <laughs> and save it. So if I save it, send it without the body, I also get unsupported media type, and if I go with like the empty uh, JavaScript object, <clears throat> okay. So obviously, uh, I was actually uh, okay. This is not good actually. Username and password are empty, and I received a token for that. Hmm. This is bad. This is very bad. So let's try with username like test123 and password, which would be uh, something. Okay, send. Yeah, user not found. Okay, this is better. So now I will use my existing user and okay. And I will get this token. <laughs> 